Doors to Selma's Historic Performing Arts Center sadly are closed tonight. We told you that the city had deemed that building unsafe because of structural problems. Now we're asking what comes next and how will this closure affect the arts in Selma? WSFA 12 News reporter Brady Talbert with the story from Dallas County. Selma's Larry D. Striplin Performing Arts Center, home to the Walton Theater, was once a place audiences could go watch a movie or a live performance. But now this sign out front says it's temporarily closed. It's unfortunate, but we have grown used to our favorite things closing. Madison Fail says it's discouraging for the local arts community. Fail grew up in Selma. His mother taught dance classes at the Walton. He also remembers when Kitty Windham, the daughter of well-known Alabama author Katherine Tucker Windham, led a community theater program in this building. For a lot of us, it was the first place where you were introduced to live theater. But now, structural issues have forced the building to close. City officials say heavy rain has caused major problems. The ceilings on the inside of the building began to collapse. And when that happened, the building inspector declared it unsafe, and so I acknowledged we needed to shut it down. The mayor says delayed maintenance and finance problems led to the damage, something failed beliefs could have been prevented if city leaders had stepped in sooner. I mean, I love how we're going to deem the movie theater unsafe, but so many other buildings in Selma, which are very unsafe, are, are fine. But no, I mean, it's just, it's, it's... Mm -mm. Meaning people will now have to travel to Montgomery or Prattville to watch a movie on the big screen. That is revenue that the city desperately needs right now. Selma needs the price of an admission ticket, no matter how inexpensive that is. Selma needs somebody, you know, at the concession stand. That's a job that somebody needs. I asked the mayor what comes next. He says we can expect additional public hearings on the city's budget and how they spend the public's money. He hopes the Selma community will be willing to fund repair efforts. Brady Talbert, WSFA 12 News. Centers like that are often important to communities, and sometimes these repairs can take a lot of time. Back in 2021, for example, the Selma Convention Center saw a lot of damage as a result of a natural gas company, which said a technical issue there had caused an explosion. The mayor now says he hopes that that convention center will reopen again in the next month or so.